Hey guys, this is Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with another quick PSA reveal. This is a, I think it was a $50 per card. No, it could have been 50. It must have been, uh, it must have been something a little bit shy of $50. I think it was a $30 per card order that we sent to uh, PSA, one of those like award winner things where you had to win the lottery to get to to get to send the cards. Um, nothing crazy here, but this is actually gonna include cards that are not only mine, uh, but this is also gonna include some cards that, uh, it's got actually a couple baseball cards, but these are gonna be cards that uh, myself and two of my collector friends sent in. I think I sent in maybe, like it was like eight were mine, a few, um, there were a couple of baseball were my friends, and then a, a couple of uh, pretty cool other basketball cards were another friend of mine here in town. But. Uh, uh, just uh, getting it cranking here. We've got uh, first card is a um, ho hum. Um, I've got about 60 or 70 of these, but it's a 2019 Panini Prism Kevin Porter Jr. Silver that uh, kind of got lost in the shuffle. I knew it was a little bit off center, left to right. PSA 9 on that one, about as expected. Uh, really happy about this one. Uh, 2018 Select. As you guys know, I was a pretty big investor in Garland, and uh, this is the light blue numbered to. Um, Trying to remember select. I'm not super familiar with select. Number 122 out of 299. So number to 299, light blue Darius Garland uh, prism rookie card. Got a nice gem grade there. And then uh, this one obviously is a, a friend of mine's card. He's a huge Stanton investor. He thinks Stanton's going to hit 500. He's going to become a Hall of Famer. And he's having a just a really banging season right now. I don't know a ton about baseball, but I know enough to know it's a big deal. So this is a Stanton framed white rookie numbered to 50. Uh, PSA 9. I know I'm a basketball channel, but uh, I do do favors for friends, uh, even those friends who, who collect baseball. So uh, I let him jump in this uh, Collector's Club submission with me. Uh, this was uh, also not my card. My guy was really disappointed with this. So not the star date rookie Kobe that everybody's familiar with that went on that wild ride uh, during the 2021 spike. But this is the next year Kobe die cut. Still a really fascinating, beautiful looking card from Skybox EX 2001. Uh, really disappointed to get a PSA 7. I have not looked real closely at it, guys, to see why. I didn't examine my friend's cards for him. I had enough to worry about. But looks like there's some real bad, um, you know, edging. I don't know if y'all can see that. But look up there at the ball, like in the top right, okay? I don't know if you guys can see it, like up here. Um, it looks like it's folded almost on the edge, almost like those edges have been folded. So just rough, rough edges. Uh, everything else about the surface looks great, but those edges are definitely bent up. And you can see it right there from that angle, right there with the light. See the edges over there? I'm guessing that's why it got a uh, PSA 7, but really cool card. Uh, so that's, uh, that's my friend Ryan's. And then uh, another Garland. This one is the one that I got hit the hardest on. I'm not really sure why. It's... Uh, I thought the centering was maybe a 9, but had a chance at a 10, but maybe I'm crazy. You know, I don't know if we put it up here next to this one. Uh, you know what? It's a little bit off top to bottom. If this centering is correct, then this one is definitely shifted uh, shifted and not great top to bottom. And the left to right is not perfect by any means, so uh, that probably resulted in the PSA 8 for that tricolor uh, Garland rookie card. Uh, this is another one of mine. I think I only sent Garland and KPJ. Uh, nothing really sexy in this order, but uh, Silver Garland PSA 10 here. Uh, this is my friend Ryan's. This is a really cool insert. I wasn't actually very familiar with this, but uh, 19, uh, 1999 Topps Prodigy, which is a product. I don't know. Uh, Topps Prodigy is, I guess, the insert. I don't know. It says Topps Prodigy at the top, but I don't think Prodigy was the name of a... Uh, was the name of a product in 1999. It seems like that, well, I guess they had to fit it on the label, but uh, this is the Prodigy insert anyway, but it is a refractor. It is die cut. It does feature his favorite player. This is my friend Ryan's favorite player and the player that he PCs. Uh, it's got Kobe, uh, second year card. So I'm sorry, uh, uh, well, I guess that would be fourth year card, but uh, this is the refractor version. It's a PSA 9. I haven't looked up the pop, but I had never seen this card and when he gave it to me raw to put in our submission, I was like, damn, that's a pretty good-looking card, uh, even for somebody who doesn't collect Kobe. Uh, this is my friend Mike, right? He sent football and baseball, but this is uh, this is his big hit. 2020 Chronicles. It is draft pick, which sucks, but, you know, down here, anybody and everybody's a huge LSU fan, so this is a big card for the great state of Louisiana. This is his orange, 
Uh, if only it was a Bengals uniform, it'd be a color match, but it does, honest to God, it looks kind of gold and purple, but uh, which would match, you know, obviously LSU's, uh, LSU's Tigers, uh, LSU Tiger uniforms, but it's his LSU card. You know, Joe Burrow is a legend down here. Down here, we spell it B-U-R-R-E-A-U. Uh, you know, we call him, uh, you know, Broadway Joe. I mean, he's, he's the real deal down here. Uh, he is an absolute legend, just like Billy Cannon was so many years ago, but this card's serial number to 20. You got a PSA 10 on this one, so uh, he was super thrilled about that. I'll put that up there with his uh, uh, Giancarlo Mike Stanton cards. Uh, next is a Kobe. Uh, this is the 2013 Prism Green Kobe 9 that my friend Ryan sent in. I'm a big fan of early Prism Greens, and he kind of picked up on that uh, motif and rolled with it with this 2013 Prism Kobe Green. Uh, PSA 9 here, card number one of the set. Uh, another really good uh, Kobe PSA 9 that he can add to his collection. Uh, my friend uh, Mike missed on this one just a bit. Uh, it's an optic. This is also Chronicles draft pick. He just pulled, picked up some blasters at a store. He didn't know much about football or Prism or anything like that. And he was just at the Target or Walmart and he picked them up. I remember when he picked them up and he, he busted about probably 15 blasters and he sent me some pictures and I was like, man, I don't know anything about football either. I know college uniforms aren't as valuable, but uh, he's probably still doing pretty good on these if it was 30 to grade. Obviously, the orange draft pick uh, number to 20, getting a PSA 10 is a pretty valuable card. Uh, another one of Mike's cards, like I said, he's a huge Giancarlo Stanton guy, a uh, bodybuilder masquerading as a baseball player, but he bludgeons the ball, uh, huge exit velocity. He's a kind of a you know, he either it's all or nothing, right? That's kind of the game he has, high strikeouts, uh, tons of home runs. If he can stay healthy, he's probably got a good chance of getting to 500 and being a Hall of Famer. Uh, he's on one of the best teams in baseball now, which is about as big a market as you can get for any sports franchise in the world. So uh, this is his 2010 Chrome Blue Refractor. Uh, got a PSA 8. Uh, centering isn't perfect, but man, it looks kind of like a 9 to me. These were serial numbered to 199, though, so... Uh, not a bad pick up there from my friend uh, from my friend Mike here in town. Uh, what do we have next? We have another Kobe. So my friend Ryan went one for two, right? So he's got a PSA 9 here. He's got a PSA 10 next to it. Uh, I'm assuming he's probably going to keep that PSA 10 green in his, uh, in his PC. He was bitching because that PSA 10, this PSA 10 right here was like a $650 card when we sent the order. And now it's about a $215 card based on the last comp or $220 or something like that. So he was just bitching about that. And I told him, hey, man, welcome to the hobby. Cards like this, those $500, $600, $700 Kobe cards are like $250, $300 now. Uh, a lot's changed, unfortunately. Uh, Freddie Freeman here, PSA 8, orange refractor, tops chrome, rookie card. Uh, my guy's kind of a dumpster diver. Uh, Mike, he likes to uh, he likes to chase those in between guys, those fringe guys, rather than uh, go buy the absolute pure blue chip. You know, Otani, Tatis, uh, Vlad guys. So Freddie Freeman and John Carlos Stanton are two of his moves. Here's an X Fractor, uh, Freddie Freeman, pretty good looking card right here. Got a PSA nine. He was happy with this grade. This is serial number to two ninety nine. Uh, another Freddie Freeman rookie. Uh, and then this is my friend Ryan. He sent, uh, he, he bought these two at a local card show here in Baton Rouge. He knew they were very low grade, but he always wanted a couple Mickey Mantles in his collection. So he uh, bought these two raw from a really, uh, really big local dealer. I say big, uh, from a local dealer here in Baton Rouge who was set up at the table right across from us a year ago and uh, sent them off to PSA and got a two and a three. So uh, I'm not an expert on vintage, but it's a 65 tops mantle and a 61, um, a 61 tops mantle, a three and a two respectively. And then uh, another one of my boring submissions, I got a nine on this garland. So uh, 110, one nine on the garlands so far. And then to round it out, another nine garland, you know, nothing special or crazy. Another 10 garland, another 10 garland. Super high on Garland. He got paid. He maxed out. Uh, he's the future of the franchise. He, uh, I've been trying to tell people when Sexton was, you know, scoring 20 points a game, I was like, Garland's the guy. Garland's a true point guard. Garland's Kyrie 2.0. Uh, only he's not nuts. And uh, everybody seems to like him. And he seems to want to play basketball. So uh, I really, really, really am high on Garland. I sort of regret not going in on Garland on some bigger cards. But this is just how I was making moves. And 
uh, in 2019. I, I do collect a little bit differently now, but back in 2018, 19, I was picking up Garland's and KPJ's and Anthony Simon's silvers and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, that's um, that's everything. I think did I forget anything? No, that's everything. I think it was a 20 card submission. So just for me and and two of my good local collector friends here in town. Uh, about average results, you know. If I had to guess, I think I did a little bit better than average. You know, on mine, that's 10, 10, 9, 9, uh, another 10. So three out of five on those garlands. Uh, I got one stinker here with an eight. And then uh, I got a 10 on the garland light blue. And then another nine on the uh, Kevin Porter prism silver that I just uh, had forgotten that I never, never did send before. So uh, anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace.